Hey guys, uh, Hilton, let me sort out this lighting quickly and I am just uh, just about to create a post here and what is going on with the uh, with the camera? It is not my regular camera, that is my laptop camera let me just sort that out quickly I just got to share this link this won't take too long Oh, I just wanted to post that into my group and now let's see if we can unlock this scene change the cam how's that is that better <laughs> cool okay guys um, hey I'm fully uh, immersed in the online ordering platforms at the moment I've done a lot of research and come up with uh, an amazing find and I'm I'm a reseller of a uh, software as a service platform that provides online order um, an online ordering uh, platform and uh, as a reseller I can charge it out to whatever I want and so I've come up with this idea that uh, I'm gonna help restaurants help themselves and uh, so basically I'm just giving them access to go in uh, I create the account for them but then they register and uh, confirm the account and make it active and uh, then they go in and create their own their own menu and set their own options and uh, it just becomes totally self-managed and uh, I don't have to uh, get involved in setting all this up and uh, the the way that I would benefit from it is I'm developing a relationship with these businesses and uh, I can help them in the future when we come out of COVID-19 and get people back into their restaurant. So guys, I just want to go through some of the benefits of, uh, hey Tim, thanks for coming to watch. I love the support, it is awesome. Um, I watched your, uh, your chat that you had with Laurie in the group, I think uh, yesterday or the day before about your campaign. I was actually wondering if uh, you got your campaign kicked off. Um, I got some really good tips there um, with regard to uh, setting up offers um, on coupons and stuff like that and uh, you know not offering the uh, you know the stuff that people don't want but uh, um, giving away the stuff that people do want but in selling the stuff that they don't want anyway we won't go into that so uh, and I've lost my train of thought but okay I think I was going to be talking about the benefits of online ordering so a lot of places that I've contacted are saying we're all good mate we are taking orders on the phone we don't want to deal with this technology and we're all good and so I've done some research and I'm speaking to our good friend Lazard over in Melbourne and uh, who provided me with a lot of information um, surveys have shown that restaurants that take orders online have a about an 18 percent higher uh, turnover on each order uh, than compared to orders over the phone another statistic here is the average call on a phone for an order is anywhere between one to three minutes and so if you took an average of about two minutes per call if a restaurant gets a hundred calls in a week that equates to two and a half hours that someone is on the phone orders online are definitely much more accurate than orders taken over the phone and also while somebody's on the phone taking an order that line is engaged so you don't know how many people are trying to call in and are unable to but if you implement um, a, an online menu which I'm going to show you how to do now it is 
really, really super simple. And if you stick around till the end, um, I will. Uh, I was probably going to be in the uh, post description. I'll give you a link where you can register your interest. But I'll, I'm going to go through and just briefly show you uh, the the sign up process and then show you some of the fundamental features that you want in online ordering. It is actually, um, I, I guess I, I was at the point where I started and I was like, whoa, what's going on here? And now I'm really familiar with it, but that's where I can help you. I can guide you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a video library. Everybody that contacts me and says, hey, how do you uh, set up um, some options for uh, you know, extras or something like that. I'll do a loom and then I'll title it and I'm going to create a video library. And, uh, and then everybody that comes in, they'll, they'll, uh, have access to the video library and then they can go through and, uh, go through those videos. And if the, if the video is not there, I'll create a new one, just a, uh, three or four minute loom. Cool. So, um, let me, carry on with uh, the next part of the show. Oh, guys, um, I was, somebody's up. My dog was just about to uh, ask to go out and uh, live is what it is. And I was going to have to go and let my dog out. But I think uh, my daughter is up and she's letting her out. So that's all good. OK, so uh, if you uh, get a, a restaurant online ordering um, system if you register you would find a screen like this where you can uh, log in and i am going to just move this out of the way for a moment and uh, once you uh, you log in you'll be able to go and edit your menus turn turn your online ordering off etc to in order to get this set up i'm going to um Give you a link to a form where you're going to in that form you're going to give me your restaurant name your first and last name and your email address the country that you're located in and the the, the language that you want your uh, your online online ordering platform to be in a very very simple form uh what's that five five fields or something along those lines and uh so it's a quick process you will uh Fill that form in. I'll get a notification that you fill the form in. Um, I'll take that information and create an account. And that's the minimum information that I need to create an account. And let me just close that. Once uh, I create an account, I get a notification that tells me that the account needs to be verified. They need, the, the system needs to verify that this is a legitimate uh, email and so you will receive an email that looks like this and you will then just uh, validate the account and when you click on that it'll open up a, a, a for another form for you where you set your own password so I'm really demonstrating to you that you have your own account it's your own email address and it's your own password. So once you set your password, it will flick to the next screen. So you can see I've prepared all these screens. And uh, you will then enter your more details. So your, your phone number, uh, your location, and um, yeah, and it just keeps going on. You, you'll put your, if you've got a, a website, you'll put your restaurant website in over there. You'll select your cuisines. You might be Indian, you might be American. Um, Chinese, whatever you can select all of those. If you're a combination, you can select multiple, and uh, then your account confirmation. This will probably be red because I don't think this. No, it has been. Your account confirmation will be shown as validated. Um, I can't do anything with that account until it's validated. So if you call me up and say, "Hey, can you help me with this account?" Until you actually validate the account, I can't, there's nothing I can do to help you. So let's uh, close this out. We don't need that anymore. And you've seen that page. I'll leave that one up there. Um, OK, so when you come in here, you got your basic setup over there. And today, all I'm going to be covering is what's in the setup. 
This is uh, for promotions, which um, you get a couple of uh, free promotions, like your Kickstarter, which you'll I'll, you'll see in this demo. Um, and you've got uh, some information there about your current website and uh, it, how well it's performing. And you've got reports and you get marketing materials like flyers and stuff like that. And then there's all the other stuff, the APIs, the connection to your online post, your, your point of sale system and stuff like that. But I'm just here to talk to you about how you can get on to your, with your own online ordering platform. It's super affordable. You're going to manage it yourself and you can call on me to help you if you get stuck. So let's go through uh, some of the, uh, so the, the restaurant basics, I think we pretty much covered. Your services and your opening hours, you, you can set that up and uh, I'm not going to cover that in this uh, video. But if you are not able to take online orders, you won't go into your services and your opening hours. Let me just, I think in services, there might be something there. Yeah, I do need to show you in services. So there's three basic features here that will really interest you. You can have a pickup service, a delivery service, or a table reservation. Whoa, why table reservation? You know, we're in COVID-19, we're not having people come and dine in. But what I'm trying to point out to you here is that after COVID-19, you can use this very same system for table reservations. So, you know, if you have got another table reservation system that is costing you a lot of money, you can look at this one, you can test it out and see if it's uh, any good for you. Um, if you don't have a, a system, well, there's one available here. Now, if you're not doing delivery, you can then just leave that as set to no. If you decide to use a third party like Crest Tag, which we have available in Australia, which uh, is a system, it's an app where you can find people to uh, do deliveries for you and you can deliver, you can uh, dispatch the jobs to this app and then it's it's like an uber app but of course you control it so um it's it's it integrates into this platform it's not part of it now what you probably would be uh, interested in is the pickup option now this is where if you get overwhelmed and you can't handle any more orders or if for some reason you have to close early or you, you're not going to open up on a certain day because of bad weather or something like that, all you have to do is just log in. It's your email ac uh, address that you use to log in. It's your password that you created to log in and just come to services, pick up and just set no. This is an objection that I get a lot. A lot of people are saying, oh, I don't know if I want online ordering. I'm happy with phone orders. We're managing with phone orders. And I'm just trying to educate my audience to say online orders generate more revenue, they're more accurate, and they free up a lot of time. And it is dead, dead simple to turn it off using this platform. It's just a click of a button. Seriously, guys, your menu is still available, but they will not, your, your customers will not actually be able to go to the cart and place the order. So uh, I'm, not go I'm going to skip through some of these uh, other options in here and I'm going to go straight to the menu setup. You, to, you, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to do your, um, your app setup. So every, uh, everybody that signs up with it for an account, they will be able to get a mobile app. So I have uh, downloaded the app onto my Android. What you would do is you would select whether you're going to use a mobile phone or a tablet. You would either put in the phone number for that tablet or the email address. Click next and it will send the instructions to that device. And in that, those instructions, it will have the link to the app. You click on the link, it downloads the app, you install the app and you're all set. It is a very, very straightforward and easy process. Setting up your menu. This is where I'm getting bogged down with uh, time, setting up uh, menus, and some of the uh, menus can be quite extensive. I'm going to then just show you, um, let me just move something out of my way here. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, add a category and then add an item to that category 
and maybe set uh, some choices and uh, yeah so just very briefly I don't want to make this video too long so I'm just trying to think and someone put in the comments there a good category that I can just add here I've already got uh, bagels okay it's gonna take probably about 20 seconds for that to come through I'm just going to add a category here of burgers. So let's just go burgers. And I can put a description if I want to. Um, now I can pick up a uh, an image. Now the system automatically picks up um, through artificial intelligence and drops that pic picture. I can change the picture. And if I change it over here, I can select the uh, images that they have in the system so I can just scroll through and like I can use that one or I can upload my own image guys the system is so versatile so now with the burgers let me uh, let me just I don't know I'm just going to call this one triple cheese just for a namesake and uh, I can set multiple sizes I'm not going to demonstrate that I'll set my price point at say $15 and then what I'm going to do is I am I'm not going to I can add a group I would just click on there add a group and then I would uh, add my items in the group but I could just take in a group that I already have and I can drag it into there so if this group of add-ons is only specific for this triple cheeseburger i drag it in there if it applies to all burgers i will drag it into the category guys so so simple and if you want when you're building out your menu you can click on that little green down arrow and you can duplicate the whole category and then you can go in and edit edit it also you've got options here if you don't um, sell burgers um, in the morning and you only sell them in the afternoon, you can hide it. Um, so you got options here. You can hide it from the menu. If you run out of burgers, you can come in here and you can hide it from the menu. You can pre-program it to only show at specific times. Very, very versatile. So uh, let me just save that. And they have a feature here alert call if for some whatever reason your uh, online ordering system is not uh, your your receiving app is not online um, or switched off then you can put your own phone number in here or the best phone number and the system will identify that it cannot send the order through and it will ring your phone with a voicemail um, with a voice message telling you to check your device anyway I'm going to just pop back up to the the menu setup because I actually want to demonstrate uh, placing an order okay so I'm going to place an an order for a, a bagel actually that's in the edit mode I need to go to preview and testing when you're building up your menu it's uh, it's a great feature to go in and uh, just have a look at your your menu and see what it's looking like you just hit the preview and test ordering there's some uh, help videos over here to show you how to create your menu as well okay so at the moment I've got this Kickstarter deal going um, I could run a Facebook post to say hey guys we've got our online ordering um, menu up now and um, for the first for your first order you can buy one bagel get one free uh, of course you can customize that to whatever you like um, so at the moment I've got that set up so I'm going to go and I'm going to buy this uh, this bag over here and uh, just click on that I'm going to have some extra bacon on that one and I'm going to add it to the cart and uh, then I'm told that uh, I have a promo deal uh, buy one bagel get one free so I'm just going to click thanks on that so I need to actually uh, I get a free bagel so I'm going to choose the other one and 
I just uh, not going to actually I'm gonna put special instructions on this one and I'm gonna say no onion and then I'm going to uh, add that to the cart and so what I'm going to do now is you can see I've got uh, items in the cart and I uh, not sure what's happened there, but it showed it was almost like the item wasn't selected. Anyway, I've got those items in the cart. I can continue shopping and add more, or I can just go back to the uh, the cart. So for some reason, the deal wasn't applied properly. But what have I got here? I've got uh, one one bagel. Another bagel with no onion, and I've got one free. Total order six. I I should take this one out. I got one bagel and one bagel free. So uh, looks like I added an extra bagel in there. Anyway, this platform recognizes if you've been on and ordered before, it will store your information. The nice thing about this platform is the your customers do not have to sign up for an account they can order straight away and then they will just have to put in their uh, contact details how they want to uh, order in this case the only option is pick up and then they can choose a time like it might be in half an hour or in, in an hour's time and then they select a payment method so now we're going to uh, at the moment it's only on cash and uh, the this the the starter package is cash only so if you're going to run on cash only this is only going to cost you twenty five dollars a month um, if you want to go on online payments I'll cover that in a minute uh, then it's going to be a little bit more so I'm going to save that and uh, I'm just going to grab my phone and just pretend that I am in the restaurant and so. I have got my uh, phone up there ready to take orders and I am going to place the order now comes through straight away so I'm going to it'll keep ringing until I accept it I'm going to tap on it and I am going to look at that order and see what is there it's one bagel and uh, one free bagel and the total is 330 let me accept that and like how much time do I need this can be picked up let's say in 30 minutes I am putting into the app how much uh, um, time before they need to come and pick it up and uh, while while I'm approving this or accepting it the user on their device are getting these messages Hold on a bit more. The restaurant will be there. Like I missed that. Like so, it keeps the uh, person uh, engaged. And so, once I accept and confirm, you'll see that this will now change. So there, Hilton loves it. Magic moments. I just want to. Uh, I'll cover that in a minute. Go back to my feed so I can see comments cool so uh, the user can share on Facebook and uh, you could probably have a campaign um, offering something or encouraging people to share so uh, let me see what I can do now just trying to think how to get rid of this You can share different things. I uh, I'm struggling to get past this. Uh, oh, my little live streaming thing was covering the close button. Cool. So uh, in the publishing, you can uh, you can share you can put a tab on your Facebook page where people can order directly within your Facebook page 
Um, you, if you have a, an existing website, you can drop a button in there. You, it will generate some code that you can give to your developer so that uh, people on your existing website will be able to click into the menu and uh, place orders. Um, there are some premium features for a mobile app, a shared mobile app or, or your very own branded mobile app. But I'm talking today about the minimum to get you up and running with your own menu. Um, if you don't have a website, the system at a premium will also provide you a, uh, a website. Um, let me see what else. Now I'm going to go to payments. I, I'd be recommending that you probably want to be taking online payments. So if you want to take online payments, you'll just come down to payments. So online payments are a premium feature. It's the upsell. So this model of uh, software as a service is what they call freemium. And so for those of you who don't know, freemium is a model where you get most of the features of the software except for the ones that are like most sought, of, sought after. As soon as somebody wants one of those features, they need to upgrade and purchase uh, a subscription. So if you want online payment, you then just go in over here and you click yes. And um, then when you click next, it will generate an email that I will get to say that you have requested online payment. And then I will make a call to you and say to you, okay, here's the deal. If you want online payments, uh, let's negotiate a price. So typically I start off at about $99 a month because I have to cover my expense from the, the reseller point of view, like I get charged. And uh, on top of uh, the monthly fee, um, if you're using a, a platform like uh, Stripe, the current uh, rate for each transaction is 1.75% plus 30 cents per transaction. Guys, it sounds like a lot, but if you can encourage your customers to start using your website, your Facebook page, where, wherever you can drop a link to place orders, either for pickup or if you've got JobKeeper staff for delivery, you are going to be saving so much on your Uber Eats and your delivery fees. And in the long run, you will be saving lots and lots of money. I uh, have just about come to the end of this presentation. I really, really wanted to show you guys how easy this can be. And if you don't have the time or if you don't have somebody that can help you set this up, hey, I'm here. Um, I'll set this up for a fee. Let's talk about it. It doesn't have to be a huge amount. Um, just needs to cover my time. And uh, I can typically set one of these up without online ordering uh, in a couple of hours. So... Uh, that's it. Um, I There will be a, a link on this post where you can uh, get access to the form to uh, register your, um, your interest in creating an account. The account is uh, will be created. It's free. And uh, if you complete your menu and you want to be up and running mm -hmm. and go live with it, um, then I will be sending you an invoice for $25.00. And it'll be $25 every month after that. But it's free to see. Create an account. Go in there. Play around with it. And uh, I'll give you seven days to have a look. And if you don't commit uh, within seven days, I'll give you a call. And uh, then we'll either go ahead or I'll delete your account. So, uh, guys, that's it. That's my value tip for today. I'm really out here to help restaurants and uh this is one way that I've discovered where I can be of great value to you. Thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next video. See ya.